On November 8, 2023, the FDA approved a new indication for the drug terzepatide. This is the same medicine as Manjaro, but now it will also be called Zepbound and used for chronic weight management and weight loss. So what's the difference between Manjaro and Zepbound, Wagovi, Ozempic, and Trulicity? And are any of them better for weight loss than the others? The answer is yes. Hi, I'm Vina. I'm a board certified pharmacist working in the US with over 20 years of practice and experience. I'm gonna tell you over the next few minutes the differences between these medicines and which one is better for weight loss. So first, what is the same between them? Three things. They're each given as a once a week injection. All of them cause weight loss and all of them help to normalize blood sugar in type two diabetic patients. So now what's the difference? Manjaro is exactly the same medicine as the new Zepbound. Terzepatide is simply the generic name for these medicines and both of them are made by the company Lilly. Manjaro came out in 2022 and it's approved only for type two diabetes. But what they found was that people who took this medicine for diabetes had incredible weight loss. And so the manufacturer did studies looking at it in people without diabetes for weight loss, and it was very effective. So now they have the medication approved as the new name Zepbound, and that one will be prescribed for weight loss and weight management. The Zepbound injector pens are almost identical to the Manjaro ones. They come in the same type of injection. It's a once a week hidden needle, and it comes in the same doses. So now what's the difference with Ozempic and Wagovi? Well, those are just both brand names for the generic name semaglutide. Ozempic came out first in 2017 and people lost weight when using it for diabetes. And so same kind of story, it was studied for weight loss and it did get its approval for weight loss and chronic weight management under the name Wagovi. In the case of Wagovi and Ozempic though, the injector pen, even though the medicine's the same, the injector pen is different. The Wagovi injector pen is a hidden needle and an automatic injection. The Ozempic pen is different. You actually dial the dose and you inject it yourself. Now there's actually a third version of semaglutide and it's called ribelsis. It's an oral form. It's actually a tablet and it's approved only for type two diabetes. But you might think taking a tablet once a day will be easier, but you only absorb about 1% of the oral tablet. So most of these medicines are available as a once a week injection. It turns out that oral semaglutide is currently being studied for weight loss, but at much higher doses of 25 to 50 milligrams a day. Being a pharmacist, I always check out pharmacies when I travel. I thought this was interesting, so I snapped a picture of it. This is what I saw in a pharmacy at a Mexico airport several months ago. It's a whole display case of ribelsis. It's for sale there without a prescription. They're selling it for about 300 US dollars for a one month supply. It's about $900 for the same amount in the US. By the way, if you're getting value from this video, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos about medications, hit the subscribe too. Now, Trulicity, you can think of it like the cousin of Ozempic. It works exactly the same way, and it's only approved for type two diabetes. So how do all these medicines work? They activate a receptor called GLP-1. That stands for glucagon-like peptide. It works in the pancreas to increase insulin secretion, but it only does this in response to glucose. This is important because it makes it very unlikely to cause your blood sugar to go too low. That's why it's safe for people without diabetes to use it for weight loss. It's a regulator for caloric intake and appetite, and that receptor is present in many parts of the brain. Animal studies show that semaglutide distributes to and activates neurons in brain regions involved in the regulation of food intake. In fact, studies in mice show that semaglutide interacts with something called cocaine and amphetamine regulated transcript neurons. Those are also called CART. And it stimulates brain activity that increases feelings of satiety. 
It also blocks something in the brain called neuropeptide Y, and that blocks hunger. These medicines also slow down gastric emptying, and that makes you feel full longer. But the delayed gastric emptying is actually responsible for a lot of the side effects like nausea. Terzepatide, which is Manjaro and Zepbound, also have a second pathway that they work through. They also activate GIP receptors, which stands for gastric inhibitory peptide. Now what's interesting is that levels of GIP that the body produces actually promotes energy storage by depositing fat. So why would you want to activate GIP receptors? Wouldn't that increase fat? It turns out that stimulating GIP receptors to a higher than normal level has a paradoxical anti-obesity effect. When you activate GIP receptors with Zepbound or Manjaro, it stimulates satiety in the hypothalamus, an area of our brain. So now, which of these medicines is better than the others for weight loss? The answer is Zepbound, which is the same ingredient as Manjaro. So those medicines have been shown to be more effective at causing weight loss than the others. So here's the data for terzepatide, which is the same as Zepbound and Manjaro. The five milligram dose gave a mean average weight loss of 15% of body weight. As you can see, the 10 was 19.5% of body weight and 15 milligrams, 20.9%. So there's not a big difference between those two doses. Now for Wagovi, weight loss is still good. But at the max dose of 2.4 milligrams, about half study participants lost 15% of their body weight. Zepbound not only looks to be more effective than Wagovi, but it seems to be the most effective for weight loss in, that I've ever heard of. Something that you may not know about these medicines for weight loss. They are for weight loss and chronic weight management, meaning you're expected to be taking them ongoing. So it's not a situation where you take them, you lose weight, then you stop the medicine. It actually needs to be taken long-term. That's why it's for chronic weight management. What's kind of scary is that if there's a point where you need to stop taking the medication, you may gain all that weight back. And it's not healthy to go up and down on the weight. If you're gonna make this decision to use one of these weight loss medications, I think it's really important to make changes in your lifestyle so that you can sustain this weight loss even if in the future you need to stop the medication. Now for any doctors, pharmacists, nurses that are watching, I have a special video for you that reveals a secret about Ozempic. So if you're a healthcare professional, you can watch this video next.